Measuring flexation. This is a really interesting bend sensor and it can measure the flexation that occurs within this membrane here. You might remember from many years ago, the Nintendo Power Glove, it had these in the fingers and it could measure whether you were bending your finger or not and how much. They're not entirely accurate, but they are quite interesting to play around with, especially for wearable technology. So let's hook this up. I found a really good tutorial on SparkFun and that's the code we're gonna be using because I thought that it worked well and could demonstrate how you can even measure angles properly. So the way this works is pretty much like any analog read. So I'm going to put it into one and two, maybe I'll put it this way. And I'm going to take analog zero, let's use the orange wire here, and put it to one of the pins doesn't matter which one, it doesn't have any polarity to it. And remember, we don't want that pin, analog zero, floating. So we're gonna use a 47K resistor this time. You can actually use any amount that you want. It will change the amount of accuracy or the amount of uh, resistance within the circuit. And you can compensate for that within the code. But I'm gonna use the 47K because that's what it calls for generally and I'm gonna put this into ground. So now pin two is going into one leg of this sensor, and then it's also going to ground through the resistor. The other leg of the sensor is going to plug into 3.3 volts. This is one of the times where you wanna use 3.3 volts. Why? Well, that's because that's what the code is written for. You could use five volts, it's not a big deal, but in this situation, we're gonna use 3.3 volts. So let's take a look at the code. I have it already opened here on this site and it talks about how the flex sensor works. Basically, as you bend it, it changes the resistance. And there's some great code right down here. I can copy that code. Launch Arduino. Might as well plug my Arduino in. Paste it in here. Make sure everything's hooked up properly. and it is done uploading. So first let's look at the serial monitor and then we'll talk about a few things in the code. If you look what it's reading right now, it says 41K for resistance and the bend is six degrees. If I were to straighten this just a little bit, I wonder if I can't get that bend to zero. Nope, it can go to four, okay? That's one issue with the code, but we can, we can solve that. Now, if I bend this slowly, you'll start to see the bend change 9, 14, 21, 28, 36, 51. You'd expect me to go all the way here, maybe be around 90, and the most I'm getting is about 75. So why is that? Well, these aren't calibrated, but you can compensate for that in the code. If you read the tutorial and you look down here, you can start inputting the measured voltage of your Arduino. Each Arduino might even be a little bit different to the hundredth of a volt in the VCC, depending on the circuit you're using and then depending on the power coming in. So once you change those numbers, you'll get a little bit more accurate readings. Even the resistors that are in there on a 3.3 volt power supply, you can adjust those numbers as well. So take a look through the code if you really wanna get a high accuracy. I think this is actually quite interesting for things like being able to measure flexation of say somebody exercising. And you can just set a general goal of like, don't extend it over 90 degrees. Well, once you put it on once, you can read that value and then you could trigger something else to happen, a light, talk to Bluetooth, a buzzer, whatever that may be. So the exact accurate angle isn't as important as being able to have something that's comfortable and wearable.